I'm interested in engaging very fundamental things, often natural phenomena, gravity, the sun, waves, wind, and having the changes that the natural world is constantly engaging in, having that as an agent in my work. I make site-specific installations. I like the challenge of using spaces and how the light works with spaces as well. I had the good privilege of having a residency at the Exploratorium at the Palace of Fine Art. I did an installation with artificial light using some found logs that were drilled down with lots of these stalks with just a piece of mirror glued to the top of them. And that was kind of captivating and I liked doing it and it got a good response. So when the Exploratorium came to uh, move to the pier, they invited me to give some submissions for what might work at this site. When the Exploratorium moved to Pier 15, Sunswarm was installed and we're currently redoing it in a more permanent form. There's a couple of hundred feet of concrete columns out there to attach to. So I've reconfigured it and kind of I've brought the whole constellation of mirrors a little closer to each other. So I'm excited to see how that works as a more intense reflection, you know, a tighter swarm. Whatever boats are going up and down the bay activate this piece. It's an engagement between the sun and the waves. The sound of the tinkling and the jostling of these mirrors is a way of alerting people to something being down there. Maybe when they look down there they get blinded by a little bit of sunlight and they see that there's something else happening up higher on at, at the awning. And so I like the, this kind of conversation between the sun, where it might be or where it might not be, in terms of whether the thing works. So there's this window of serendipity where you get to see the sun and the waves at the right time of the day to get this little spectacle. Right?